There is mourning in Great Britain. Prince's, uh, Britain's Prince Philip died today. Queen Elizabeth's husband was just months away from his 100th birthday. Ian Lee reports from Windsor, England. Signs of a nation in mourning. The flag at Buckingham Palace flies at half staff. The news of Prince Philip's death posted at the gates. The 99 year old royal passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip earned the affection of generations here in the United Kingdom, across the Commonwealth, and around the world. Prince Philip, also known as the Duke of Edinburgh, was last seen in public a few weeks ago after he spent a month in the hospital for an infection and a heart condition. He was the longest royal consort in British history and was at Queen Elizabeth's side for more than seven decades. Historians say the prince will be remembered for both his charm and, at times, controversial comments. He was probably the most good-looking royal in history, but at the same time, he had his opinions. He knew what he was thinking. He, he was never easily swayed. And so she could depend on him in a way that no one else could. People are already laying flowers here at Windsor Castle. This is where Prince Philip spent much of the pandemic with the Queen. He was one of the best royals, if I'm honest, you know what I mean? Kind of thing, kind of, you know, had a great character, charisma. The Greek-born aristocrat, who served in World War II, retired from public engagements several years ago. He carried out more than 20,000 of them on behalf of the Crown. Ian Lee, CBS News, Windsor, England. Because of coronavirus restrictions, royal officials say Prince Philip will not have a public state funeral. Instead, a ceremony will be held at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle.